<laughs> my next question is going back to uh, the uh, the um, the you side side of things. What was because a lot of Kingdom Hearts stream uh, streamers and content creators they're big fans and stuff. Yes, but you, my friend, had the pleasure of meeting the great daddy himself, Papa Nomura, in person twice. Correct. Tell us. Yep. First of all, I'm so jealous. And second off, how? <laughs> what was that like, bro? What is? What? What kind of aura does he have around him? Like getting to meet the Nomura. Like, what was that like? Please shed some light on that for us. So, Tatsuya Nomura is like actually is like, one of my favorite video game creators, like all time. And I and and that is also compounded with like what I know of Nomura is that he's a very private person. Mm -hmm. He, you know, and then he also wishes. Oh, that people respect his privacy, and I know that. And then knowing, knowing all of that, and then knowing how big gargantuan uh, expectations were for Kingdom Hearts three at the time and whatnot. When I first met him, it was just very like his aura, his like his atmosphere was just very, very. Um, I would say heavy. It was like it was like uh, the gravity. It was like the gravity of. It, 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 the circumference of him, like the gravity around that area, was just very heavy. Considering that you know all the stuff I knew about him, and of course, like you know all of the um, all of the hype considering Nomura as a creator when it comes to a director, a writer, a designer, or whatnot. So it was it was just very really it was super potent for me to meet him for the first time, which was at D twenty three, twenty seventeen. And I happened to meet him <laughs> by chance, mm -hmm. uh, uh, thanks to uh, being invited to D23 by my, uh, what you want to call him? my channel, uh, uh, my channel MCM at the time, which was a Polaris, who was owned by Disney. And then uh, my contact was like, my contact Lauren was telling me, hey, do you want to go D23? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll be down. Because like, we uh, met up E3. And then D23 was happening like a month or two, like a month or two, like I think it was a month or two, like two months or whatever, like a couple of weeks was happening after that. And I'm like, yo, I would love to go to D23, but I have to know ASAP that you can get me to go because I mean, like the show is happening like soon and I have to like get the flight. I have to get the hotel and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, okay, I'll let you know. And then she's like, okay, we got you in uh, D23. I'm like, cool, awesome. So I go to D23, and then I, I went with my fiance. Sky was there too. And then our friend Michael was there too. And we all rolled up to D23. And then when it was time for her to give me my badge, and I still have that badge. Is the badge over there? In view? Like, yeah, it's over. Hold on. We get to it's that badge. one. Nice. Yeah, the. The, the blue one hanging there, or their D23 Expo. Now, when she gave me that badge, that badge is, like, really, really special because it's known as a Sorcerer Badge because they tier the badges there based on Disney characters or mm -hmm. the or what they are or whatever. The Sorcerer Badge, that badge, right? Let me tell you, that badge is a big deal. And when I saw, and, like, I knew that badge was a big deal from, like, when they were given to me. I'm like, this is mine? It's like, yeah, and this is for your fiancé, too. I'm like... This is out. So we got two. So to put to put into perspective for everyone in the chat, that badge is literally one tier below the badge they give to the actual actors and celebrities. Wow. Me twenty three. So that that's like that that I'm like. So that literally gave me access to everything, like to everything. So then, uh, one I will never forget. One time we were going, we wanted to go see a panel. And then um, we had, there was like this big line to go around because the panel rooms are huge. The, the panel room to go inside, you have to go down this walk area and then come around and go into right. But the exit was really like right next to the way when you just go into the um, the panel area, right? It's really like when you if you're going towards the panel, the exit is the first door leading into the thing. But then that's how people exit. So they like, they go in and then they exit like you know they have this whole like really cool system. So then um, I'm walking up. And then there's a security guard there, and I, uh, I was like, oh, we want to go see the panel. And it's like, oh, you two want to go see the panel? You have to go that way, um, a certain madam, right? But then I, uh, I was like, I, I got my badge. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he sees the badge. He's like, oh, right this way, right this way. So we go in through the back to get to the front row seats through the exit, and I'm like. This, oh, yo, this badge is busted. So we we, we went all, all over this area. We got like like. Um, like fast pass and line, we went to these restricted areas. We played a lot of games, take a lot of pictures. It was, it was super, super fun. And then, uh, 
Lauren calls me and says, hey, listen, uh, we need you in the green room uh, for the video game panel, which we knew that Kingdom Hearts was going to be there and whatnot. And then you could go there and do your thing and just hang out with us, snacks, stuff like that. So the green room is like, if you guys don't know what the green room, the green room is literally the room where all the people who are de- like, you know, they are set to work or be on the show or anything like that. They hang out there. That's literally right next to the big stage or whatever. So we go to the green room. And there were snacks and everything. There were like Kit Kat bars, Reese's, nachos, guacamole, little muffins, bagels, and stuff like that. Like, there was a lot of food there. It was like, it was crazy. Uh, but then uh, we got there early um, because I was like, I was just really excited. And then Laura pulls me aside and then she was like, hey, listen, if you see anyone important, if you see anyone important uh, come into the green room, uh, try not to freak out. And then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, Okay, this is an American event at D23. I, in my head, I'm like, there's no way Namora's going to be here. She's probably thinking about Shinji Hashimoto, right? Or Taiyusui. And I met them both already. So I'm like, like whatever. And then at the time, uh, that's also when I had a Nintendo contact. And my Nintendo contact told me the same thing. It was like, oh, if you see Reggie, freak out. And then I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. So I, like, I was given the, the spiel already for my content. I'm like, come on. I, like, like, I, I've already been given this conversation in a different way or whatnot. And, uh, by the way, Reggie's huge. Um, so I'm like, I take that to heart. So I'm thinking Hashimoto's going to be. And then I'm doing my own thing. And then, uh, she gives me the access to the Polaris account. And then I tweet as them as, you know, to hype up the show and whatnot. That was like me doing my thing there. We go back to the groom room because we noticed there was a lot of suits, like a lot of suits, like just rolling up into the green room, right? And then it was packed at the point we got back there. And then like there's there was everyone's there. Uh Jack Septicai was there, Markiplier was there, um, a bunch of people from Polaris was there. I ran into Cody again. Uh Lauren was doing her own thing. So I saw that Shinji Hashimoto was there too. In the corner of my eye, all the way in the back, you know, talking with a bunch of other executives, having some snacks or whatever. And um I'm talking with Corey who was another one of my Polaris handlers. And as I was talking to him, from the corner of my eye, like, like, like this, like this, I look. And there it is. Tetsuya fucking Nomura, right? And, 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 he had like a crew around, Mm -hmm. right? And I'm like, (laughs) And then Markiplier walks over, and I, I I already knew Mark. Like I I don't know Mark personally, but we know of each other. Like like we met each other multiple times, so he recognized like, hey, like, hey, and I'm like, hey, Mark. And then like we converse every time we meet each other. Like I, I'm I'm a fan of Mark. Um, I, I was never starstruck by Markiplier. Mm-hmm. It was like to the point where I'm like, hey, you know, Mark, we have a conversation. By the way, super nice dude, super genuine. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're having a conversation, and like uh, he walks over and I see Nomura and then he sees them. I like he can notice my face is flushed. He's like, "Yo, you okay? Are you all right?" I'm like, "Dude," I, I'm like, this <laughs> and he looks around and he he, he doesn't take care of it, right? So he looks and he says, "Who's that?" And then I'm like, "That's Tetsuya Nomura, the guy who's like in charge of Kingdom Hearts." And he's like, "Oh, wow, really? You're gonna go say hi?" And I'm like, "Bro, I don't know. Like, like should I?" And then he's like. I don't, see no, I don't see no reason why not. And Corey comes back, and Corey's like, hey, man, are you all right? And I'm like, Corey, like, Morris right there. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's here. And I'm like, and then my fiance comes back, and he's like, and she's like, babe, are you okay? Like, everyone thought, everyone could see that. I'm like, mm-hmm, shaking. Yeah. yeah, and then she's like, babe, you okay? And then I'm like, and then she knows who Namora is. She looks, and then she's like, is that Namora? <laughs> and then, <laughs> so everyone's like, so Mark, Corey, and my fiance, and go, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Like, and then I, I remember what, what Lawrence said, like, don't freak out. I'm like, I'm like, I'm holding it in, right? <laughs> and then, um, as all was all happening, a voice in the back of my head was like, you will never get a chance like this ever again, right? And I'm like, I gotta go for it, right? So, I walked as politely and not as like weirdly as possible. So I. I walk towards him, and as soon as I got into his vicinity, I feel the dome just like, Durr! and I'm like, oh god! <laughs> right? I'm like, it was like, like, like he, like he casted gravity, uh, gravity, and then uh, as I was approaching him, he just looks at me, and I'm like, oh god, he sees me, right? So then I, I approach him, and then as I, as, uh, as he sees me, 
all his um like I, I, the entourage because I like, apparently he rolls around with an entourage all the time. His entourage they all see me and they all look at me too. So I have like six pairs of eyes just like Dum! right, and I'm like. The first thing I do is I bow, and I'm like, oh, um, Mr. Tetsuya Nomura, I am a huge, and I'm like, bro, I know he's not answering. I, like, I was gambling in my head. Like, I know he's not understanding me. I know is. I'm just hoping one of his, one of his uh, crew mm -hmm. members right there is a translator, and I'm just like, I'm a huge fan of your work. Your, your work has changed my life. I love Kingdom Hearts. I love what you do with Sora. I cannot wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 and whatnot. And I was just, I, I like, um, it, it would be all right if I can get a picture, right? So then, when uh I said that, one of the ladies there was a translator. So she picked up on it, and then uh she's like, oh, "All right." Goes to Tetsuya Nomura, says what I said in Japanese. Tetsuya Nomura says something to her, says says something to her in Japanese, says something to me in Japanese, and says something to her to Japanese again. She looks to me. It's like, oh, uh, Tetsuya Nomura, like um, uh, Nomura son, uh, is very flattered by your kind words. He would love to take a photo, uh, uh, a photo with you, on the condition that you never. And I knew, and I knew this was a thing. Yeah. I knew it was coming. So I'm like, um, that that is no problem at all, right? So he's like, uh, you can take a picture with him on the condition that you do not share this photo anywhere else at all, right? And uh, like I have the yeah, photo. Can we, on the can phone. we, can we see? No, you cannot. Darn it. Uh, uh so um. And and I'm like, oh yeah, of course. I yes, 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 yes of course. So I I I, I shimmy in my pos I position myself, to take a picture of my, my like I was in the zone. So my my fiance is like, yo, you want me to take 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 a picture with you? I'm like, bro, if I if I were to tempt fate by putting the phone anywhere else, I feel I could just like I I I feel I could just fall apart, right? So then I do, I take a picture in the morning, both of us smiling, and I'm like, I bow, and I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you, how do you good though, right? And then uh, he bows a little bit too, and then does this, and I'm like, ah! I didn't say I did, in my head I was like, ah! but I didn't say ah! like obviously I'm like bro how weird would I be yeah. like ah! so he goes like this and I'm like, and then I I, I shake his hand like in the room like like full gratitude I shake his hand, I bow my way. That my, bro, that is so like, then, full wow. And then leaning off of that. As I'm walking away, um, Jack Septic, I like, Jack Septic, I also knew him. I mean, we, we bowled a lot in Boston. Jack Septic, I like, hey, man, how are you doing? I'm like, yo, Jack, don't talk to me right now, man. Like, yo, my, leg, my legs are jelly, right? Like, I was, I was ready to collapse, but I didn't. I got a snack. I increased my blood sugar a little bit. Had a soda. It's fine. So that was, that was, that was meeting number one, right? Uh, meeting number two was at the premiere. And that... That was hilarious. actually it was like the meet. The, yeah, okay. So the meet, the second meeting was at the premiere, and then I have a funny ass story about that meeting, about the premiere, where um, I was playing Kingdom Hearts three at the premiere, and he was there, and but we didn't know he was there, and he just just rolled up full decked out in his like gear, like in his Kingdom Hearts gear, his Kingdom Hearts drip, right? And he had a Stark industry shirt, so I was like, oh, Marvel confirmed. <laughs> So I'm playing the game. So I'm playing the game, right? And then one of my Square Enix contacts, uh, uh, like, like I was, and when you were playing the game at the premiere, they had this like big ass headphones. Mm -hmm. So I was like, like I was jacked in. I could not notice anything happening, like, because I was like, boom, noise cancel, right? So she taps me, right? She taps me. And I'm like, and I take my headphones on. I'm like, what did I do? Something wrong? Did I, uh, like, she's like, oh no, 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 no. Like, look who's watching you. And I'm like, huh? Who? Right? And it was Namora and Yasoi, and they're like, they were waving at me like. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing! I'm like it's so good, it's so good. It's so, good. so I get up a little bit and I uh, like I, I shake hands with him and then I bow again and then I also got to talk with uh, Justin Scarpone and Tayusui a little bit more and Sunil and uh, that was really cool and then that was that that was the um, the event where I asked Justin Scarpone uh, about the whole Sword for Smash thing mm -hmm. and then that's when I got that information I got the answer from. Him and stuff, and then that's where I ran into Tetsu in the more again, and that was really fun. That is congratulations, now, man. That's amazing. And then the story that spun off of that, which mm -hmm. was hilarious, is because that was actually my second time meeting Justin Scarpone, who, if you guys don't know at the time, was the Disney vice president of Disney Japan. Uh, the first time I met him was at a previous event to that, 
called the Kingdom Hearts, uh, the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Dandelion Meetup, which was an event they had for Union Cross, mm -hmm. right? And it was really cool. Square Enix, Square Enix was super nice about it. It happened at Burbank. They gave me a Smelly Octopus. The um, the VIP treatment, it was so nice. They literally, like, uh, gave us hotel rooms. We were literally staying at the hotel where um, all the Square executives were staying at. And it was so nice. So nice. Right? Oh, the breakfast was amazing. Anyways, um, that was the first time I met Justin Scarpone. And... Uh, uh, it's funny because when I ran into him, we were both sitting in the VIP booth, and then it's like, oh, and, and like I saw him, and he was like, really well dressed suit. I'm like, oh, oh, are you a Disney executive? It's like, ah, oh, yes, Justin. I was like, nice to meet. It's like, yeah, yes, Justin, nice to meet you. It's like, oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Scarpone. And he's like, my name is like, I know who you are. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And then he's like, he's like, yeah, you watch your stuff all the time. And I'm like, and that's where it got drilled into my head, where I'm like, the mouse is always watching. Right, like the mouth is always watching. Yes. So I'm like, and then uh, I'm like, oh, and then at the time I gave him my business card. It's like, oh, if you ever need me for anything, you know, here's my business card and stuff. Like, oh, wow, this is so cool. It's like I'm getting a business card from uh, a business card from a celebrity. I'm like, no, <laughs> really, I'm not. No, no. So then we met up again at D20, and not D23. We met up again at the um at the Kinmar Street premiere, and then that happened. And then we met up again the same year, a couple months afterwards, uh, at the Kinmart's Orchestra that happened before E3. Mm -hmm. So, like, this was literally, I met him three times within the span of, like, two months, right? So then, uh, at the orchestra, we had a conversation because he was there with Hashimoto, right? And he, was, he at, like, when we went to the um, premiere, like, it was me, Dean. It was, no, it was me, Guy. I'm not remembering. Anyways. <clears throat> It was uh, a bunch of us, and then a bunch of fans were there, and they were like, meeting, like, it was kind of a meeting greet that we were doing there, so a bunch of fans were meeting up with us, greeting us and whatnot, and then in the chaos, while we're going into the uh, orchestra, uh, uh, Justice Scarborough flags me down, and he's like, hey, hey, uh, HMK, and I'm like, oh, Justin, and he was there with uh, Shinji Hashimoto, I'm like, oh, Hashimoto's nice. here too, right? So then we were like, oh, like, how you doing? And Hashimoto is like, oh, in Japanese, because like, this is like the fifth time I met him, right? In, in, in English, he was like, oh, nice to meet you again, and I'm like, oh, nice to meet you again, uh, Shinji, right? So then, uh, I was having a conversation with Justin, and I'm like, oh, he was like, how'd you like Kingdom Hearts 3? I'm like, oh, man, I love it. It was, it was such a great time playing at the premiere and stuff. And he's like, yeah, funny enough, you know, I was um, uh, watching you play uh, the play the game at the premiere with uh, Namora-san. And then I'm like, so you were there with him? And he's like, yeah, we have a conversation just literally watching you. And I'm like, was that the time where, like, Samantha was tapping me and telling, uh, telling me he was watching? He's like, no, that was actually earlier. We were just walking around, and we just recognized you. But um, uh, you couldn't hear us because of the headphones and stuff. We were literally right behind you. I'm like, you guys were right behind me? And, stuff. and they were like, yeah. Like, it was me, uh, me and them were right behind you. We were just talking about, and we were literally talking about you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> And then it's like, yeah. So I was, uh, Justin was saying, it's like, I was telling to uh, Namora son, it's like, oh, yeah, this is uh, Geo. Like, this is Geo. And like, he's a, he's a content creator and stuff. And, um, He's a really big fan of Kingdom Hearts, really big, uh, really awesome country about Kingdom Hearts. We, uh, just was like, oh, we actually met at the uh, Dandelion meeting. Do you want to meet, uh, Gio? He said, do you want to meet Gio to Namora? And then Namora said to him, and this is what Justin told me. Namora said to him, it's like, oh, no, we met at the D23. We're already good friends now. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, that's what Namora said. And then I'm like, so why did you tap me? He's like, oh, you look like you were having a good time at the game. You didn't want to bother me. I'm like... Why didn't you know Justin? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you can't see what you do. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh.